blocked after publicly pleading for former President Trump's White House counsel to give testimony. The committee investigating the January 6th Capitol attack has now slapped Pat Cipollone with a subpoena. They want to hear about what was going on in the White House in the days leading up to the insurrection. NBC's Chris Pallone joins us live from Washington with the very uh, de latest details on this story. Chris, good morning. Maureen, the January 6th committee had hoped that Pat Cipollone would come forward voluntarily. Now they're ratcheting up the pressure to get him to come testify before that committee. A day after explosive testimony from a former White House aide, the January 6th committee set its sights on former Trump White House counsel Pat Cipollone, serving him with a subpoena to testify under oath. He has um, a huge volume of relevant evidence. And he was there at every level of each of these assaults on democracy and the rule of law. Tuesday, former Trump White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson told the committee about Cipollone's effort to stop the president from going to the Capitol with his supporters on January 6th. Mr. Cipollone said something to the effect of, please make sure we don't go up to the Capitol. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if we make that movement happen. His knowledge of the propensity for violence that day, uh, his knowledge that uh, the president and others may be breaking the law that day, uh, I think is very important. Republican Committee Vice Chair Liz Cheney taking aim at Trump loyalists in her party who are downplaying the credibility of Hutchinson's testimony. We have to choose because Republicans cannot both be loyal to Donald Trump and loyal to the Constitution. A spokesman for Hutchinson's former boss, Mark Meadows, says the former chief of staff never asked for a presidential pardon. But Meadows hasn't testified under oath and is not cooperating with the committee, citing executive privilege. The real point is no one is denying that the former president wanted to go to the Capitol and lead this armed mob. Hutchinson's lawyers say she stands by all the testimony she provided under oath. And a lawyer familiar with Pat Cipollone's decision making says the former White House counsel needed a subpoena before he would even consider speaking to the January 6th committee. Maureen, back to you. And Chris, it appears that the wife of a Supreme Court justice is now hesitant about testifying to the committee. Yeah, you might recall that the January 6th committee had invited Ginny Thomas, the wife of Clarence Thomas, to testify before the committee because they have possession of some of her emails and text messages to various White House officials, uh, basically encouraging them to try to overturn the election. Now the lawyer for Ginny Thomas has sent the committee a letter, eight pages. It essentially says that they don't see the reasoning for her to testify. They need more justification and they're concerned about the fairness of the committee. All right, a lot more details to come out about this. Chris Pallone, live in D.C. for us this morning. Thank you so much.